to, to, to implement. Stevenson was promoted to be the Human Resources Minister in December last year after his previous roles as Deputy Minister in both the Finance and Youth and Sports Ministries. In an interview with The Star, he said his experience in the previous portfolios has helped him to undertake his current role. You know, whenever you come to a new ministry, uh, definitely there is a learning curve involved. I think in my situation, we had to hit the ground running. I have to come to the ministry the day of the announcement. When I went to MOF, it's the same thing. We had a very helpful and experienced team of civil servants who are there to assist us. My experience actually helped me to understand how the civil service, how government mechanism operates. Youth and sports also prepared me to be more engaging with the grassroots, which is very useful for this ministry because this ministry is about the workforce. So that gives me a perspective. How do you improve the livelihood of the workers? You can only do that when you interact and engage with them. Sim said he wants to focus on improving the welfare of the workers and their skills, increasing the workforce's overall productivity and formulating a national human resource policy. The things that we have done in the past 100 days represents our direction. We have launched several initiatives. For example, Perkeso for homemakers, for housewives. We are going to do, do improvement this year. For example, raising the age of eligibility from 55 years old to 60 years old. We've also increased some of the benefits under this scheme. We talk about 10,000 mental health first aider in workplaces and then 100,000 free health screening for workers in Malaysia all over the country. In terms of training, HRD Corp has signed an MOU with 13 top global training providers. Employers now can actually use their HRD Corp levy to pay for trainings via these platforms. Employers can use up to 50% of their levy balance in HRD Corp to upgrade in-house training infrastructures, including to buy um, IT equipments like laptops, etc. We want to do training differently, we want to do training radically, and then program ILHAM. 30 million grant, matching grant, uh, provided by Kasuma to assist especially SMEs to implement paid internship programs. We hope that smaller companies, especially local SMEs, can take opportunity of this matching grant and therefore providing a bigger internship opportunities for students all over the country. We are saying that no one is too small. Uh, we are saying that we want to protect worker at every level. Sim also said that the government will be announcing the framework of the National Human Resource Policy later in May. In the meantime, a portal has been launched to allow Malaysians to give feedback on the upcoming policy, and he said when policies and decisions are made, all stakeholders will be engaged by the ministry.